Hello, welcome back to three phase circuit analysis. Here in this lesson, we're talking about the Y delta single phase equivalent circuit. If you remember back to the first batch of lessons when we had the YY arrangement, the single phase equivalent circuit was really the key to doing all of those problems because ultimately the single phase equivalent circuit allows you to find, since it's one single loop like this, it lets you find the line current, IA, little a, big A. And when you have that, you can, in the YY arrangement, you can do almost everything else. You can find the voltages everywhere, and then when you have the voltages and the currents, then you can find the other phases just by adding and subtracting 120. So the strategy is going to be the same for Y delta. Uh, we ultimately want to find a single phase equivalent circuit for that one also. Once we have the single phase equivalent circuit, it allows us to find that line current IAA, and I will, we'll talk more about it, but ultimately that lets you solve all of these problems, basically. The only wrinkle is that you do not have a nice Y arrangement at the load end, right? You have this delta arrangement. So in the single phase equivalent for the Y, Y, it made sense that you could do a, a single loop for the single phase, because if you remember, the Y was one, one guy, and then the, fa the A phase was, it was, was not in this triangle arrangement. It allowed you to come back through the neutral terminal, and it was a lot more intuitive how you could draw a single phase equivalent for the Y, Y arrangement. It's not so equivalent, it's not so obvious here because once you get from the source through the line and over here to the load, what do you do? How do you draw your single phase equivalent? You've got all of these choices here. These are in parallel, plus you have this one. So what do you actually do? How do you draw it? That's what we're gonna uh, 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 do in this lesson. That's what we're gonna study in this lesson. Now, ultimately, the trick to all of these problems is you wanna take your delta load, and I've said it a few times now, you wanna transform it. There's a way to transform it into a Y load. And that transformation from delta to Y is very simple, assuming the circuit is balanced. Now, this circuit is balanced because, at the load end, Z delta, Z delta, Z delta, they're all labeled the same. That means that these loads arranged in this triangle formation, they're all the same. So this could be 1 plus J 2 ohms. That would mean this would have to be 1 plus J 2 ohms, and this would also have to be 1 plus J 2 ohms. If this one, instead of 1 plus J2, were 1 plus J3, or 1 plus J5, or 2 plus J1, or something different than the other two, this circuit will be unbalanced, and this conversion to a Y load equivalent is not going to be as easy. You can still do it, but it's not going to be as easy. In this uh, course, we're going to assume all of the loads are balanced. We're doing balanced three-phase circuit analysis. So we want to go from this configuration into something like this. Now before we go over here, let's go ahead and, and label a couple of things. Coming into this direction, uh, this is big A. I've got them labeled over here, but let's just for the sake of clarity, let's call this terminal big A. Whoops, not, not big A here. This is big uh, B that's connected here, and this is big C. This direction, you have the entire line with the line impedance, and then little a on the other side of the line, and then the source over there. So here we have, looking into this as a black box, if you were to put a dotted line around this, you have three lines coming out, A, B, C, and inside here is some triangle arrangement of loads. And they're all balanced, meaning they're all the same. So we want, what we want to do is we want to convert this into something that looks like this. I'll try to draw it freehand. I'll probably screw it up. But anyway, we want a something like this. And then we want to have a common point here, and we want to go here. We want to have um, a load here, and then we want to have a load right here, like this. Like this, and then this will be right here. And so this will be a terminal, this will be a terminal, and this will be a terminal. And what do you think I'm going to label these? We want to convert from that form to this form, so this will have to be terminal A, this will have to be terminal B, this will have to be terminal C to match up with the three line terminals that we had in the other